All right, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? In this example, what I'm gonna do is work through 36 different examples of special right triangles. And basically what we're gonna do is we're going to find the missing side lengths of these triangles. And we're gonna go ahead and leave our answer, obviously, as radicals in simplified form. And we're just gonna kind of work through example after example after example, 36 of them. And this is going to be an unedited version, so therefore, if I misspeak or if I make a mistake, I'll just go ahead and try to do as much as I can in real time. But yeah, I wanna kind of work through these and explain them. The main thing you're gonna to need to know to do all these problems is the relationship for our 30, 60, 90 triangles as well as a 40, 60 triangle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a quick little summary here. This is the 30, 60, 90 triangle. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, let's the short leg be X, then the hypotenuse is going to be two X, and then my long leg is gonna be X squared of three. So that's the relationships of the sides for a 30, 60, or 30, 60, 90 triangle. If we have a 45, 45, 90 triangle, that's gonna be a little bit different. Again, these have to be 90 degrees for this to go ahead and work. But if this is going to be 45 degrees, then that other one has to be 45 degrees. The legs are gonna be what we call an isosceles triangle, meaning they're gonna be exactly the same. Now to get my hypotenuse, I'm just gonna go ahead and multiply by the square root of two. Okay, so that's basically all we really need to know to go and get through these examples. So let's go ahead and get started on our three examples. I'm sorry, let's go and get, let's get started on our 36 examples. So um, we recognize here there's 60 degrees, so therefore this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle, okay? So the main thing when you're looking at 30, 60, 90 triangle is you wanna understand like, you know, which one is a short, which one's a long. So hopefully you recognize here's the short and here's the long, right? Okay, so now when we're looking at this, we have the hypotenuse. Now again, notice to go from the short to the hypotenuse, I multiply by two, right? So to go from the hypotenuse to the short, I'm going to divide by two. So eight divided by two is just going to be a four. And then if I want to go from short to long, what do you do? You just X times X squared of three, right? So you're just gonna multiply by the square root of three. So this is gonna be a four squared of three. In the next example, you can see it's basically the exact same thing. If we're given the hypotenuse, we wanna find the short, right, first, and then we wanna find the long. So what we're gonna do is again, divide by two, right? So that's gonna be a five. And then from here, we're just gonna have a five square root of three. All right, now in this example, um, you can see that we are given a 45, 45, 45, nine triangle. The main thing to know is the legs are exactly the same, right? So if this is three square root of two, then this is going to be a three square root of two, all right? The other thing is remember the hypotenuse, to go from the leg to the hypotenuse, you're gonna multiply by the square root of two. So it's gonna be a three square root of two times the square root of two. Well, square root of two times square root of two is two. Two times three is going to equal a six. All right, now in this example, we're given the short leg. So remember to go from the short leg to the hypotenuse, um, you're going to multiply by two, right? To so go from here to here, you multiply by two. And from there to there, you'd multiply by the square root of three. And then from here to here, you multiply by the square root of two. Okay, so from here to here, we're just gonna multiply um, by two. So we had to have a five halves times two, right? Which is just gonna equal a five. Um, and over here, you're gonna multiply by the square root of three. So it'd be a five over two times the square root of three, but you can't really simplify that any further. So that's gonna be a five square root of three over two. Um, in this case here, this is a 45, 45, nine triangle. Again, the legs are gonna be same. So that one's kind of easy. So therefore this is six. And then you're just gonna multiply by the square root of two. So six square root of two. Um, over here, we have the long side. Now, uh, again, we gotta remember what we had. Like originally, if we were talking about the short side, to go from here to here, you'd multiply by two, right? And to go from here to here, you'd multiply by the square root of three. Well, we don't have that relationship, right? We have the long, we have the long leg. So if I want to go from long, if I want to go backwards, instead of to go from short to long, you multiply by the square root of three. So to go from long to short, you're going to have to divide by the square root of three. So we're going to rewrite it like this, six divided by square root of three. Now, sometimes your teacher, your test, you might need to rationalize the denominator, right? So we can go ahead and do that. So six divided, so six times the square root of three, so three times three is, or square root of three times square root of three is going to be a three. Um, six over three can equal a two square root of three. Okay, so it's just kind of important to recognize like first getting the six divided by square root of three, but then I can simplify that to a two square root of three. And the reason why that's important is it's a little bit easier to work with that. Um, two square root of three multiplied by two here, right? Because again, we just want to multiply that by two, which is going to give me a four square root of three. Uh, question number seven looks like a 30, 69 triangle. Looks like we're given the short side. So that one's pretty easy. I always like having the short angle because again, to get the hypotenuse, we multiply by two. And then to get to long leg, we're gonna multiply by the square root of three. So we have the square root of three times the square root of three, which is just going to equal square root of nine, which is equal to a three. Um, again, another 30, 60, 90 triangle. So we're given the long leg. So again, we gotta go backwards. So again, this is gonna be two divided by square root of three. And again, now we can rationalize the denominator, right? So multiply by the square root of three 
over the square root of three, because again, we got to go backwards, so we're going to divide by the square root of three. So that's going to leave me a two square root of three over three. And then in this case, I'm just going to multiply that by two, right? So two square root of three over three, multiply that by two. So that's going to equal a four square root of three over three. Uh, question number nine, we have three square root of two divided by square root of two. So here's one leg. So again, the legs are exactly the same, right? So therefore, this is three square root of two. What am I writing? Three. <laughs> three square root of two over two. And then again, to get the hypotenuse, you're just going to multiply by the square root of two. So we have a three square root of two over two times the square root of two. Okay. Well, square root of two times square root of two is two. And therefore, that's going to leave you a three times two over two. I don't know why I'm writing so crooked. And therefore, you can see your final answer is just going to be a three. Um, now, so notice again, to go from the leg to the hypotenuse, we multiply by the square root of two, right? So now I have the hypotenuse. So again, what I'm going to do, if I have the hypotenuse, I want to find the leg, I'm going to divide by the square root of two. And then I can just go ahead and simplify that. So I can multiply by the square root of two over the square root of two. And that's going to give me a final answer of five square root of two over two. And this is going to be exactly the same, right? Because the legs are exactly the same of a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Question number 11, um, 36 and nine triangle looks like we're given the long leg. So again, to go back to the short leg, I could divide by the square root of three. So square root of three over the square root of three, which is just equal one. And then, and then to go from here to here, I'm just going to multiply by two, right? So one times two is equal to a two, right? Um, another, again, another 36 and nine triangle. This case though, we're given the short side. So again, to get the hypotenuse, we're just going to multiply by two. Ah, oh, don't want to do that. So again, to go from short leg to long leg or short leg to the hypotenuse, you do four times two, which is equal to an eight. To go from short leg to um, long leg, we're going to multiply by the square root of three, which is really nothing we can do. So we'll just leave it as a four square root of three. Um, again, we're given the hypotenuse. We have a 45, 45. So these legs are going to be the same. We just need to, to go from hypotenuse to the, to the leg, we need to divide by the square root of two, right? So two divided by square root of two. Nothing really cool you can do, but we can rationalize the denominator. So I multiply by the square root of two over the square root of two. That's gonna be a two square root of two over two, right? And those are gonna divide out to give me a square root of two. So that's square root of two. And then guess what that is? Also a square root of two. Here's the 30, 69 triangle. Um, again, we're given our hypotenuse. So therefore to go backwards here, right? I'm gonna divide by two. So that'd be a five divided by two. And then to go from here to here, what I'm gonna do is multiply by the square root of three. So this is gonna be a five square root of three over two. All right, so in this case, again, to go from here to here, these are exactly the same. So nine square root of two over two. And then if we go to here to here, what are we gonna do? We're gonna multiply by the square root of two, right? So it'd be nine square root of two over two times a square root of two. Well, square root of two times square root of two is two. Two divided by two is just gonna leave us with a nine. Um, all right, so here's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So we're given the short leg. And again, guys, again, remember, we're given the short leg. To go from the long leg, you're just gonna multiply by two. Right, so this is an eight square root of three over three times two. Well, that's just going to equal what, two 16? Okay, so that's gonna be a 16 square root of three over three. And then to go from the short leg to the long leg, you're gonna multiply by the square root of three. So therefore that's gonna be an eight square root of three over three times square root of three. So square root of three times square root of three is three. Three divided by three is just gonna be one. So therefore that's gonna equal a eight. I guess I can put a little dot there for multiplication. Um, all right, in this case, we have a hypotenuse. Um, so again, to go back here, you're going to divide by two. So eight divided by two is equal to a nine. And then to go from here to here, you're going to multiply by the square root of three. Now there's nothing really I can do there. So that's just gonna be left with a nine square root of three. Here, 45, 45, nine triangle. Again, these are the same. So that one's gonna be five. And then to go from the leg to the hypotenuse, you're just gonna multiply by the square root of two. Again, another 45, 45, 90 triangle. So again, the last one, what do we do? We multiply by the square root of two to get the hypotenuse. Now we have the hypotenuse. So if we want to go to our leg, we're going to divide by the square root of two. So therefore, this is going to be six divided by the square root of two. And again, we can rationalize the denominator. So multiply by the square root of two on the top and bottom. That's going to be a six square root of two over two. Um, square, or two square root of two times square root of two is right. Just square root of four, which is two. Six divided by two is going to be a three. So therefore, that can read down to a three square root of two. And again, remember, this is going to be exactly the same as the legs are the same. Um, and this end, this one, again, the legs are exactly the same. So this is going to be a seven square root of two over two. And then to go over here, you're just going to multiply by the square root of two. So seven square root of two over two times the square root of two. Now square root of two times square root of two is two. Two divided by two is two, uh, or sorry, is one. So therefore, that's just going to leave me with a seven. 
Um, in this case, again, we have them exactly the same. So three square root of two over two. And then for here, you're just gonna multiply by two. So, so those are gonna be exactly the same. And then to get to here, you just multiply by two. So you'd have uh, square root of two times square root of two is two, two divided by two is one. So therefore that answer is going to be a three. Um, here's the exact same case here. So this is exactly the same, two square root of six over three. And then to go from here to here, you're gonna multiply by two. So square root of six times square root of two is going to be a square root of 12. I mm, guess we're gonna have to do some work here. So we'll have a two square root of 12 divided by three. Now I can break down the square root of 12, right? I can rewrite that as a, um, so square root of 12, I can rewrite that as a four times three, which is a two radical three, okay? So therefore I can do this a two times a two square root of three over three. Now two times two is just gonna be four and I can't simplify the three cause that's under the radical and this one is not. So therefore that's gonna give me a final answer of four square root of three over three. Um, all right, 23, um, again, these are gonna be exactly the same. So we'll just do a four square root of six. And then again, to get to this, you just multiply by the square root of two. So therefore it's going to be a four square root of 12, which again, you can simplify into a um, two radical three, right? So therefore that's gonna give me a eight radical three. Um, here we have the short leg. So again, to go to the hypotenuse, you're just gonna multiply by two, which is gonna be nine. And then to go to here, you're just gonna multiply by the square root of three. So it's gonna be nine square root of three over two. Um, for 25, again, the legs are gonna be the same. So that's gonna be multiplied. That's gonna be exactly the same. And then for over here, you just multiply by the square root of two. So square root of two times square root of two is gonna be square root of four, which is gen, just going to be two. Um, here we're dealing with this short leg. That's the long leg. So we, if we have the hypotenuse, the first thing you always wanna do is find the short leg. So two divided by two, right? You're just gonna to wanna to divide by two. Um, so two divided by two in this case is gonna be a one. And then to go to the find the long leg, you're just multiply by the square root of three. So therefore that's going to be a one times square root of three, which is just square root of three. For this example, 27, um, now we're given the short leg. So to find the short leg to the hypotenuse, you multiply by two. So therefore multiply by two is just gonna be a four radical three over three. And then to find the long leg, you're gonna multiply by the square root of three. So square root of three times square root of three is three. Three divided by three is one. So therefore that's just gonna leave me with a two. Um, in this case, now we have the hypotenuse. So we wanna be able to find legs. So again, to go from hypotenuse to a leg of a 45, 45, 90 triangle is you're gonna be dividing by two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have, sorry, you're gonna divide by the square root of two. So now I can go ahead and rationalize the denominator. So I can multiply by the square root of two over the square root of two. That's gonna be what, a square root of 10 over two, which I cannot simplify. So just remember that the legs are exactly the same. So if that's square root of 10 over two, then this is gonna be a square root of 10 over two. Um, again, we have the short leg here. So to go from short leg to hypotenuse, right, of a 30, 60, 90 triangle, you're gonna multiply by two. So that'd be a two square root of three over three. Um, to go from short leg to long leg, you're gonna multiply by the square root of three. So square root of three times square root of three is going to be three. Um, three divided by three is going to be one. From here, 45, 45, nine triangles. So these are exactly the same. So that's gonna be a five square root of two over two. To go from short leg, or to go from the leg to the hypotenuse, you multiply by the square root of two. So square root of two times square root of two is two. Two divided by two is one. So that's just gonna be a five. All right. Um, so the legs are the same. So if that's four, then that means that is also gonna be four. And then again, remember when we have the 45, 45, to go from leg to hypotenuse, you just multiply by the square root of two. Okay, uh, so now we have the hypotenuse of a 30, 60, 90. So what I'm gonna do is find the short leg first. So I'm just gonna divide by two to find the short leg, right? And then to go from short leg to long leg, you'll multiply by the square root of three. So five square root of three. Uh, question number 33, we are giving the leg. So again, this is a 45, 45. So I know the legs are the same. And then I know to go hypotenuse, you just multiply by the square root of two. So square root of two times square root of two is two. Two times two is going to be a four. Um, 30, 69 triangle, we're given the short leg. So again, to find the hypotenuse, you multiply by two. So that's just gonna be two. To find the long leg, you'd multiply by the square root of three. So one times the square root of three is just gonna be the square root of three. 35, so again, this is a 45, 45. So therefore I know the two legs are the same. To find the hypotenuse, you just multiply by the square root of two. And two, 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 here's a 30, 60, 90. Again, we're given the hypotenuse. To define the leg, what you're gonna do is divide by two, right? So I have a four square root of three divided by two. So that's gonna give me a two square root of three. And then to go from this long short leg to the long leg, you're gonna multiply by the square root of three. So square root of three times square root of three is three. Three times two is going to be a six. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There is 36 examples of finding the missing sides of your special right triangles. Um, hopefully if you wanna print out or to go ahead and practice on your own, go ahead and check out the description um, down below. But hopefully this video was helpful for you. And go ahead and check out more examples, our videos and resources in the description down below. Cheers.